everybody welcome back to this random journey great news we uh, have officially sold our house that we lived in for 15 and a half years and today's video is just gonna be a quick walkthrough of the house it's empty and I just wanted to kind of point out things that we did along the years that was kind of significant to the house um, like uh, putting in a sidewalk that kind of stuff um, just kind of wanted to walk through of the house so that we had the memory. We did bring the kids by the other day and let them walk through the house so that they could see it empty and kind of just have that one last thing there. Um, and they was like, wow, I don't remember it being so tiny. <laughs> um, of course, now that we're in the bigger house, this house seems extremely small. So um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, make sure to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. So the front of the house, um, we put on the metal roof and we took out the large tree that was here when we first moved in. Um, and this sidewalk was not here when we first moved in. It was just um, brick that was like overlaid with dirt and grass and stuff. in the house, the living room. There used to be a wall right here, if everybody remembers, that we took out. We added this counter. Looks so different being empty. <laughs> I love that window. Um, gives great lighting in here. I'm gonna really miss the lighting. <laughs> um, but we'll get that in our other house. This was my boys' room for the longest time. Um, we moved the girls in here at the end. Just doing a really quick walkthrough, guys. I have uh, to go pick up a kiddo from a visit. And this was our master. And then this used to be one huge closet here. We split it, of course, and we made our closet here. And our little half bath there, with our little tiny sink. <laughs> and then this door used to not be here, uh, but we added a pantry. This was actually part of the closet for this room, which was um, our girls' room. For years and years and years this is my baby's room um, and now this room just has the half closet which is plenty big and then the kitchen my favorite place in the house i'm gonna really miss this kitchen um, but i really like my new kitchen it just gets to be remodeled <laughs> my open shelving i think i miss the most um, I love the backsplash too, and I love my the drawers, um, these here, uh, that pull out. Um, I just really liked my kitchen <laughs> a lot, and the sink, oh, I need the sink back. But anyways, um, and then the laundry room, we moved the washer and dryer, um, so they used to be like on this wall, and we kind of moved them onto that back wall. Um, and then I'm gonna go out into the backyard. This is kind of my final walkthrough. We did a walkthrough with our kiddos. Um, so that swing set back there, um, we actually built for my daughter when she was two years old. It was for her, her birthday present. Um, the new owners requested that we leave it, so we're leaving it. And we put that shed right there. We uh, added that shed and we ran electric to that shed there. And oh, that bush right there is a Rosa Sharon and it's got beautiful flowers on it. I got that for a Mother's Day gift um, one year for my kiddos. This tree right here is a raptor pear. My husband babied that tree and then we decided we didn't like it, but we kept it anyways. <laughs> um, so yeah, many a days sitting on this porch watching the kids play and uh, we're going to really miss it. 
So as I was editing this, I realized that I did not show the main bathroom and we did remodel that as well. And, um, we put in a huge, um, medicine cabinet about a month before we put the house up for sale. And my foster son said, why did we spend 200 whatever dollars if you were just going to sell the house, um, to put this medicine cabinet in and then not take it with us? And I was like, well, <laughs> it served its purpose. We needed it. <clears throat> so we needed it for where we were in that season of life and uh, now we have plenty of storage in the new house and i really hope that you guys will come back i'm going to do a walkthrough of our new house sometime really soon hopefully um, we are a family of eight now and often have more children coming and going for respite or what have you um so we needed a bigger house obviously and i want to show that to you so make sure you come back and i will talk to you guys later